with leverage on top of Microsoft Dynamics Finance and Operations. There are sometimes uh, instances where you need to record specific notes about a customer that maybe can't be governed within the system, such as certain things need to be invoiced to other accounts or certain splits need to be used, uh, just information that um, is beneficial to the billing department uh, when they go in and actually uh, bill this customer. So this is customer billing notes that we can find off of if you go to Ag Sales under Customers, All Customers. We'll take a look here at one of our customers that we've created for Wright Farms. Under the Invoice Action Pane, there's an option for billing notes. So we go into the billing notes form. You can set up as many billing notes as needed. So if we go new, it defaults in our customer that we're on. And we can make this specific to a certain farm or field if needed. Otherwise, you can leave them blank. You can make it specific to a split group if you want. And uh, here's where you can just enter your note in any free form text. So this is just saying that anytime you maybe do fertilizer with this customer, it should be a 50-50 billing with Martin Farms and not just with Wright Farms. We can continue on here and make as many billing notes as needed. Uh, if later on it's no longer relevant, you can mark it inactive if you want to, but maybe keep that history. Or if you don't want to keep it at all, you could just delete that record as well. So let's go see where this shows up. Uh, if we go into Ag Sales, Orders, All Sales Orders, and we create a new order for that customer. We'll just pick any item here. It doesn't uh, matter for these purposes. So up on the top in the action pane, if you click on your invoice tab, here you can go in and see your billing notes uh, right from your sales order form. And it will go in and it will show you all of those that are relevant for this customer and any other split customers on your order. As well as if you don't remember to go in and check that, if you go in to generate your invoice, it will pop up here on the posting invoice form warning you that billing notes exist and you probably wanna go in and review those before you complete invoicing. Otherwise you might need to go in and make some changes after it's been invoiced.